Hello there. I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have not one, not two, but three friends joining us. The first friend is Tori, or Tori of the Vast. Tori is the queen of the MTG TikTok community, with witty tics and funny talks. She's also started streaming EDH gameplay content on Twitch, so find her at Tori of the Vast across the web. Our second friend is Ken, or Stacked EDH. Ken makes thoughtful and funny EDH content on YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, if you like CDH, he is the go-to with anything Crock the Thumbless. Find him at Stacked EDH across the web. Our third friend is Tomer, or Budget Commander. Tomer is in charge of the Commander section at mtgcoldfish.com. Tomer writes helpful articles, has great deck lists, and they have a dedicated YouTube channel just for Commander. Find Tomer at Budget Commander on the socials and MTG Goldfish Commander on YouTube. It really is a privilege to have the chance to play with these awesome creators and I encourage you to go check them out after our game today. Also, if you're wanting to support us, one of the best ways is to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click on the notification bell so you know when we, our videos come out. With that, let's check out our commanders and our starting hands for our games today. First we have Tori playing her namesake, Kalia of the Vast. Tori's starting hand includes two planes, a swamp, Kalia Xena Seeker, Angelic Field Marshal, Kardur Doom Scourge, and Balefire Liege. Second we have Ken playing Queen Marchesa. Ken's starting hand includes a swamp, a mountain, bright climb pathway, rebuff the wicked, soul ring, anguished unmaking, and sword of feast and famine. Third, we have Tomer playing his famous tribal tribal deck led by the Ur Dragon. Tomer's starting hand includes a mountain, Indatha Triome, Path of Ancestry, Gem Hide Sliver, Yuriko the Tiger Shadow, Coveted Prize, and Valiant Changeling. Fourth, we have Carlos playing Rakdos, Lord of Riots. My starting hand includes a mountain, a swamp, Canyon Slow, Vault of Whispers, Burnished Heart, Doretti Scrap Savant, and Metalwork Colossus. All right, here's game one. Gonna give it the old swamp ass. Okay, on tap up Trog, we're gonna go right climb pathway, tap it into a soul ring, and then tap that soul ring into the arcane signet. I ripped right Ooh. off the top. That's it for me. I'll pass it up. Draw a card, play a path of ancestry tapped, and I will say go. Draw. I'm gonna play Den of the Bugbear. And okay, I'll pass. I'm gonna draw. As cool as they I are, like that show, guys. These don't really look like lands. I know. <laughs> they look absolutely not like a magic card, but it just also just cool. I'm gonna yeah. pass. Okay. All right, I'll play a Swamp, cast Marchesa. Shoot. Wow. Yeah. Bada bang, bada boom. Wow. All right, I'm the Monarch, and my policy with the Monarch is I like people passing it around. You know, take it from me, just get get the action moving. It's like a small blind, big blind in poker. Just, you know, make it happen. Ooh. I'm going to swing at our lovely host. Carlos, please take uh, three with Marchesa. Okay. And then I'll move to my instep and draw a card. Go for it. I will start by untapping. I will draw a card. Cast a Meboid Changeling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> card oh, boy. Behold the terror. 1-1 one, one, Shapeshifter Changeling. Can tap it to have target creature gain all creature types until on the turn or lose all creature types until on the turn. And I get to scry. I'm going to bottom the card that I saw. Then I will play an Indatha Triome tapped and I will pass a turn. Draw for turn. I will play a Swamp as land for turn. I'm gonna play a Goblin Welder. I'll pass. Let's draw. We're gonna play the Savai Triome. Gorgeous. I'm gonna pass. They so remind nice. me of Destiny 2. It looks like the one planet oh, wow. IO. Yeah. All right. I would do a lot to have more lands in that style. Me too. It cool. has it has such like a comic book feel that I yeah. just. Nice. All right, I'll play a mountain. One, two, three. I'll cast a sword to feast and famine. Go one, two to go ahead and throw the sword on her. We'll move to combat. Tori, I'll swing five at you with Queen Marchesa. I will take that. Got a combat trigger because the sword. Discard a card and then I'll untap my lance. And then I'll also cast Phyrexian Arena. I will move to the instep and I'll draw a card. Pass it up. I'm going to untap and draw a card. You want to hit me with that little dude? Look I at his do. face. He wants blood. 
You, you convinced me. I'm going <laughs> to swing the Me Boy Changeling at you, Ken. I get one, and I spiritually lose Well, because that thing Actually, I, I have uh, after declare blocks. You oh have no God. blocks. Oh, my God. There's a combat trick. I'm going to die. I'm going to tap blue, yeah. black. This Me Boy Changeling is now oh. a ninja. Yuriko is ninjutsu in. Yuriko deals one damage to Ken, and I when, when I deal combat damage with a ninja, reveal the top card of your library and put that card in your hand, then each opponent loses life equal to its mana value. Two. And then I'm going to play a mountain, and I'm going to pass a turn. Hey, and I'm card. going to have the monarchy, so I'm going yeah, to draw a card. I need to discard, so I'm going to discard a skeletal changeling. So it's a regenerator. And then one. I'll pass. Yeah, it's just a 1-1 one, one that I can pay 2 to regenerate. I will untap and draw a card. I'll send a, a 1 damage at you, Tomer. And I'll take it. Play a mountain this land for turn i'll tap all three for a burnished heart and i will come the monarch we'll draw the card and then pass the turn gonna draw play the planes I'm going to tap one to play the latest Esper Sentinel ever tap three to play Kalia Zenith Seeker I'm going to take Demon of Loathing the rest go to my bottom of my library pass my turn so untap upkeep I'm gonna make an assassin because I'm not the monarch with death touch and haste I'm gonna draw a card from Phyrexian Arena lose a life and draw a card for turn play a battlefield forge is my land for turn tap two for a talisman of indulgence tap one for a shadow spear i'll throw the shadow spear on marchesa are you okay carlos if i hit you for one with this assassin to get the monarch back does it have death touch it does no that's fine so i'll attack you with the assassin and then tomer as promised here comes six no blocks i won't block I'm going to discard Knight Exemplar. I'm going to become the Monarch, untap these lands, then step, draw a card, and that's it. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to swing Yuriko at Ken. No blocks, no tricks. Yuriko will deal one damage, triggering So I flip the top card of my library. It's oh. a Feline Sovereign. Oh, okay. I thought that so, was great. Ooh, <laughs> I was like, oh. that's, this, that's our savior. <laughs> Cast it right now. <laughs> Everybody loses three life, and I will put it into my hands. I will then cast Arcane Signet, cast Woodland Changeling. This is a two mana changeling, but it's a dragon, so it costs one. I paid it with the Path of Ancestry, so I get the scry one. Then I will tap the Arcane Signet for blue and bring back my sweet little boy, <laughs> me boy changeling. End step, I get to draw a card because I'm the monarch, and then I will pass. And tap, draw. Oh, I forgot. Or oh, did you draw a yeah. card when I cast Talisman of Indulgence? I did not. Thank you. Okay. And also my Arcane Signet. Now I'm going to play a Luxury Suite. I'm going to send one at Ken yep. and then two at Tomer. I'm not going to block. Second main, I will Albert, cast Mr. Reactos. Go to my end step and draw for the Monarch and pass the turn. Sorry if you're going to hear my cat, by the way. It's about time for his second dinner, so uh, he's <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Second breakfast. I'm going to tap. We're going to cast the commander. Discard the Ferris Skyblade. Ken, do you have any flyers? No, Tomer and I are lowly on the ground. So I'll try to bring yet. you down to our level, and I'll hit you with three in the air from Kalia's on a Seeker. I'll take three. Then I'm going to pass the turn. Untap, upkeep. I'll make another assassin and draw an extra card from Frexian Arena and then draw a card for turn. Who's a life? Okay, life is pain. I'm going to shock in a blood crypt and I'm going to cast this Inferno Titan. I got an ETB trigger on Inferno Titan. I can deal three damage. I know you're going to blow up my sword with your cat. So I'm just in, you know, strike first mentality. I'll say if you leave me alone, we can I'll talk. leave you alone. No, you okay, have I, to I, kill I, Yuriko. You I, have to kill Yuriko. I can't actually we will attack your die to Yuriko. You shake. Hey, wait, shake on that Where side. Where do I go? Where do uh, I go? Other side. There we go. Other side? Go. Other side? There you go. It's yeah, different perfect. for me. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, sick. Yeah, I'm going to target Eureka. I'm going to fire breathe on her a little bit. All Get right. Her out here. We're going to do the one assassin and Queen Marchesa at you, Tomer. So I will take seven, including six mirror damage. Gain my six. Please uh, discard a card, and I'm going to untap these lands. I will move to the end step draw card. Yeah, go for it. I want to untap. I'm going to play a Mutavolt. 
I'm gonna cast Gem Hide Sliver. All slivers have add one mana of any color to your mana pool oh, if you tap them. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Valiant Changeling, which is also a dragon. It costs one less for each creature type among creatures you control. So I have Changeling, so it's gonna cost five less. I get the scry because it's a dragon. Keep this on top, I think. If you wanna come through to get the Monarch, I am for that. I like that. Wait, but what if I, I played a I Feline monarch, Sovereign right? first? Oh yeah, no, that's correct. Yeah, so I you thought you uh, might attack me, but I don't think- call Good call, yeah. which means I did not draw this card. Carlos, would you be really upset if I yoinked <laughs> it? Or <laughs> no, if you can do your best to kill that sword, I'll take a damage for that. Okay, well, although I probably will want to get it back, though. You know, <laughs> you, you could you could not hit me with the rack this. So yeah, totally, yeah, totally I won't, go I won't throw rack this at you. Right I'll now, I'll but. swing I'll swing the me boy changeling at you for one then. Okay, I'll take it. I will pass. I'll go to end step and I'll draw a card off the crown. I'll draw. Gaming. I'm good to send a, also a 1-1 one, one at you, Tomer, and for that... Absolutely. Again. Okay, I'll have to send that. Err, please. I think I have a way to potentially get rid of the sword as well. <gasps> what are you talking about? That's but I don't sword. have to, Ken. That That's that's something we can talk about. <laughs> See? No, See? it's not good, no matter what. I want to do for like... Quadrant, Please don't hurt me. <laughs> like quadrant one, two, three alliance, you know what I mean? Then that's yeah. <laughs> but Ken, what if it's really cute? I mean, that's okay. yeah, that'd be all right. I'm not out. Again, no grudges. Leave my little boy alone, okay? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he's a one one and he's scared, all right? <laughs> I feel like it's seen or it's seen exactly. the darkness that's of man. Okay, I'm gonna put out a vault of whispers as my land return. Yeah, I'll send six flying at you, Ken. Pay one mana for this Ruin Grinder. Ruin Grinder is a 7-4 menace artifact yeah. construct creature, and when he dies, each player may discard their hand and draw seven cards. So I will play the ready Scrap Savant. I will then discard up to two cards and draw that many cards mountain and a metalwork colossus draw two cards how past the turn I'm starting to get scary down there mm -hmm. we gotta mm -hmm. we gotta beat him up fast mm -hmm. should we me whoa how much damage have i done to you tori no damage True. To be fair, the right side of the screen has uh, damaged me a little more. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm never going to do it again. We've been the changed. changelings okay, have I not. I made a deal uh, with you before, exactly. so what I have to have, deal. Have, have, and why? I've only been peaceful to the, <laughs> the dragons and the demons. and the, well, You made a Ken deal with the direct, aggressor. I know, but he didn't direct the damage at me and said you used it against Yuriko, which was... Yeah, yeah exactly. We're going to... I want to oh, do enough. a Mardu Blitz, you know what I mean? Just like all... But I'm all part of Mardu. I'm all just I'm, I'm just a you're, you're baby Mardu. Crimes, you're baby Mardu. Yeah, look, you got a green creature over there. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. All right, Ken. So if I were able to to do something crazy, who would want me to do it to him? I mean, I think Carlos is popping out more value. Carlos is definitely popping out down there. So Whoa. we can try to do something about that. We are going to first play a uh, Torment's Crypt, and then we are going to is that target graveyard or all graveyards. Target. We got a Eureka in the graveyard, right? It's not exiled. All right, so we're gonna crack it and exile that Eureka out of here. I'm gonna go to combat and Carlos, I'm gonna swing at you with Kalia and also be casting a Balefire Dragon. So it deals six to you and six to your board. Yeah, I'll switch out the Colossus for the Burnished Heart. Oh, does that mean we get to do the wheel? Yeah, and everyone can wheel if they want. Yeah, I'm gonna respond to the trigger, I think, and cast an Anguished Unmaking. And I'm gonna target, because it's a meme, I'm gonna hit the beautiful, depressed Amoeboid Changeling and, and just... <laughs> Just make him go. No! Oh no! I needed him. <laughs> no, he's gonna go away. He's gonna. Go away. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll lose three. Uh, it was gonna be so cool next <laughs> turn. You were threatening the sword. You know what I'm saying? I I can't. We were had a deal. <laughs> I am going to discard and draw seven because that seems cool. I think I do as well. Yeah. The, you can see everything I've been drawing. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of these. I think lines. I'm going to hold on to it, unfortunately. I'm going yeah. to pass my turn after that. Untap upkeep. I'm not the monarch, so I'll make another assassin. Draw for Frexian Arena and then draw for turn. I'll play a command towers, my land for turn. I want that monarchy back. So we're going to go three assassins at Doretti and then Marchese an Inferno Titan at you, Tomer, and I've got a Inferno Shoot. Titan. Shoot! <laughs> 
Dreddy, is that how much loyalty? Yeah, I'll take three. It'll go down to two. I'm going to point three damage at the double striker. All right. Changeling is dead. No blocks. Yeah, I'll just pump up Inferno Titan by three, and then I'll take a damage for that. Sure. So I'll take 15. You need to gain my six. Draw a card. I'm going to discard a Homeward Path and a Swamp. That's it. I'll untap. Draw a card. I'll cast Feline Sovereign. Uh, other cats you control get plus one plus one and have protection from dogs. So this is going to be a three, three. Ooh la la. And I'll swing it at you, Ken. Uh, I'm going to take three and then you got a trigger, yeah? Yes. Whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Uh, I'm going to blow up the sword. I would like to Boros Charm because I love my sword very much. All right. Cast uh, Guardian Blade Walker. It's a dragon. So I get the scry, bottom that. And then when it enters the battlefield, you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. I'll just put one on itself. And that's it. I don't think there's much I can do either. I'll draw for turn, play a mountain, slide for turn. Let's just go ahead and plus two to ready. I'll discard a memory jar and a prismatic vista. I'll draw two cards. I'm going to play cursed mirror. I'm going to copy the bellfire dragon. I'm going to, in response, chaos warp that. Here oh, we go. Oh. Go. Etch champion. Swing 10 at Ken. I'm going to eat 10. Oh, and you're the monarch now. Oh, wasn't I the monarch, actually, because I hit you? Tomer, you're the monarch now. Oh. <laughs> Draw a card. I'm going to play Trash for Treasure, and I'll sacrifice this Vault of Whispers. And I'll get back Ruin Grinder. Tori, I think you get to draw a card. I do. Thank you. I'll pass the turn. Can you believe I still have not drawn any land? Still no land. Okay. I've only drawn land. I guess go to combat. Let's drink the blood of our enemy. Let's see. Who do I want to kill? Ken. Wipe his board. I do think, we, I do think hitting been... Ken is probably the correct call here. It, it is. I'm okay to slug it out after these two are gone. Yeah? You could slug it out with him, or you could just take his stuff out now, and then you don't even have to worry about it. And then you actually have the advantage on slugging it out. That Instead of true. doing You Ken's literally only have to attack him. with your dragon only at him. If you swing at me, the damage isn't going to happen. Who's make Ken to use his turn to kill me. I'll make a deal. That's I will continue to have never done anything to you. What if he uses you. his turn now to kill me because he no. thinks I'm trying to conspire against him? I'm not going to do it. I don't, I don't think he's going to do that. You got a deal. If, if you want to break the deal, fine, but I'm not going to break oh. a deal. Well, All you, right, you could still be in a great spot then because if you attack him, he uses his removal. You attack Kalia at us. You're not losing anything. That's true. You guys don't really seem like you could rip me out from under. And I uh, the changeling away. will not attack you. <laughs> All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'll duke this out with you, Ken. I won't kill you yet, Carlos. I will go I to combat it, and yeah. I will be swinging Kalia at Carlos with Izella. <laughs> 14. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> as well as six from Kalia's Zenith Seeker. And Balefire will be going at you for 12. Budget. Yeah, no, I don't have a response. No flying. So I'm dead. Sorry. Tori, you are the monarch now. You're right. I draw my card. Untap and I'll assassin. I'll lose a life and then draw. I'll play a spectator seating as my land. I'm gonna attack with this Inferno Titan at you, Carlos, and I'll just point the four at you. Muerto. I'm just gonna pass it up. Draw, play planes, play Mother of Runes, play a Master Warcraft. So I'm gonna attack you with everything and you're gonna block with nothing. And I wanna cast Comeuppance. Uh, come up and uh, prepare all damage would be dealt to you and planeswalkers you control this turn by sources you don't control if damage from a creature source is prevented this way come up and steals that much damage to that creature if damage from a non-creature source is prevented this way come up and steals that much damage to the source's controller but your angel's gonna half it because this is a mm -hmm. source of mine so so it's I'll doubled and then half. half though so it's regular damage you have a draw on esper sentinel oh you're right untap upkeep lose life draw and then draw play a uh, fetid heath Swing the team at you, Tori, and I'll deal three damage to to the mom. So how much am I taking? Sixteen. I'll gain six, and then I will pass it up. Esper's still chilling, right? Esper's chilling. Okay, can I block one of those? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just doing? realized he didn't uh, die. This one doesn't trample, so it takes six less. Okay. I'm going to play another planes. Play necromancy. I'm going to bring back Gisela. Pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, lose life. Draw two, play a City of Brass, cast uh, Reconstruct History, and I want to take Oros Charm and put it back in my hand, and this gets exiled. Two, and throw the 
sort of feast and famine on the Inferno Titan. Also throw the Shadow Spear on it. We'll swing the team. And Inferno Titan trigger. Feels four to me. Well, it'll be halved. I'm going to point it at the... Inferno at the Titan cell. doesn't do anything, unfortunately, because each thing's a separate damage, and so it's prevented. Oh, yeah, that's right. Three. Well, three damage divided as you choose, right? So I could just do one target. It would be three minus... Yeah. So one. So I'll, I'll put one damage on Gisela. Okay, so yeah, I'm taking five. And that's it. I'll pass it up. I need a discard. I'm going to discard an island sanctuary. Have you guys been switching the monarch back and forth? Oh, yeah. No. That, I need to draw a card then, and I gain one life from Archesa connecting. And then I need to discard another card. We'll discard a silence. Your big guy has the lifelink. Oh, yeah. Big guy has lifelink. Good call. So I need no. to gain two. I'm going to tap six, seven, and play a demon of loathing. I will just swing at you with Gisela for 10. Yeah, no blocks. And, and then you're the you. <laughs> Let the bloodbath continue. Yeah, don't, don't forget your draw. Oh, that's right. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, I'll make another assassin. Draw two and lose one. Cast a Conqueror's Flail. Then I'm going to equip the Conqueror's Flail. Is that a double damage that. thing? As long as it's attached to a creature, your opponents can't cast spells during your turn, and then it pumps it up plus one, plus one for each color among permanents you control. The Inferno Titan and Marchesa are both coming at you, and I will point one damage at you with the Inferno Titan trigger. Well, I'll take the seven. And cast a Twilight Prophet. It's a flying 2-4. It's got a send. So I send right now because I got a bunch of permanents. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the City's Blessing, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is that card's mana cost. So I'm the Monarch, boom. And I will draw a card at the end of turn. I'll discard a land. Oh, and you need to discard a card from Sword of Feast and Famine. I need to untap these lands. I will discard a Sulphur Smire. I will play a Balefire Liege. So other red creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Other white creatures I control get plus one, plus one. So I'll swing at you for 14. I'm going to cast Batwing Broom. Uh, I'm going to use a white mana and a black mana to do it. It says if white mana was spent to cast it, prevent combat damage. And if black mana was spent to cast it, each player loses one life for each attacking creature they control. Okay, that's it. All right. Good game. That was lots of fun. <laughs> Well, Ken said he did make this deck to practice his real-life politicking, and I think he won in more ways than one. For Game 2, Ken's starting hand includes a Plains, Exotic Orchard, Rogue's Passage, Spectator Seating, Batwing Broom, Loyal Apprentice, and Angel's Grace Mulligan to the bottom. Carlos's starting hand includes a Swamp, a Mountain, Bonder's Enclave, Bomat Courier, Felwar Stone, Chaos Warp, and Trash for Treasure. Tori's starting hand includes a Swamp, Luxury Suite, Dark Ritual, Soul Ring, Rip Apart, Cardur, Doom Scourge, and Sarah's Emissary. Tomer's starting hand includes Auntie's Hovel, Ketria Triome, Soul Ring, Realm Walker, Wargate, Higuri the Still Wind, and Tiamat. Okay, here's game two. Draw. I'll play a Spectator Seating and Pass. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a mountain tap it for one and play a bowmat courier and just for my own catharsis i'm gonna attack you for one kid i know it i know it come at me i'll pass after that i'm gonna play a swamp play a soul ring turn Ooh. one I will pass. Draw a card. We'll play Ketria Triome. Tap, and I'll pass the turn. I'm going to draw. Uh, I'm going to play an Exotic Orchard. Tap to play a Loyal Apprentice. And then we're going to move to combat. And Carlos, again, because you're the host, first attack of the night. So let's ping in for two. All righty. And that's it. I'll pass. Okay, untap. I'll draw for turn. Play a Swamp is land for turn. Play a Felwar Stone. Well, you've done me two damage now. I'll do you a second damage. Yep. Get this Salt card. Fair. I'll pass the turn. Play a luxury sweet pass. We'll untap draw card. I'm going to play an auntie's hovel. Nice. Uh, when it says a battlefield, you may reveal a goblin card from your hand. <laughs> and if you do, enter the battlefield tap. Goblin! Solaring cast a realm walker. I'm going to name Sliver and I get to look at the top card. And then I pass. A tap up draw, play a planes, cast a monologue tax. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, I create a treasure token. Tori, I'll swing to it, yeah. And then I'll pass. Untap draw. I'm going to play a Bonder's Enclave as land for turn. She has a four open mana. I think I'll still send one at you, Ken. Oh, wow. Okay, I go to 37. I'm going to cast a Vile Smasher the Fear. 
Pierce. And I'll pass the turn. Draw, play a dark ritual, and play Sick. Carter, which kind of sucks right now, but I don't want to be empty. <laughs> Triggers monologue attack, so I'll make a treasure. It right. Makes us attack next turn, is that right? Yeah, everything yeah. is go to get attack Great. somebody else but me. Whenever an attacking creature dies, everyone loses a life, and I gain a life. And then I'm going to pass. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to take a peek at the top part of my library. I'm going to play a Sacred Foundry, untap. I'm going to lose two life. Ooh cast the sliver on top of my library. Bloodline Pretender. Hey, that's not a sliver. <laughs> it's so sliver-like. Can't you see it's beautiful sliver-like features? And then I am forced to attack and take two. I understand. I'm going to pass. I'll keep and draw. I'll play a Rogue's Passage, and I'm going to cast Marchesa. New Monarch. I'm going to move to combat, and that's going to trigger Loyal Prentice to make a Thopter. Tomer, will you mm. take two, but then I'll let you through to get the Monarch to get some card draw? Yeah. I'll swing the Loyal Prentice at you, Tomer, and I'll swing the Thopter and Marchesa at you, Carlos. Take four. I'm going to go to 36. Yeah, I'll move to my incept and draw a card because of the Monarchy. He gave away something he wouldn't even have when it happens. If it's still with me, I'll give it up happily. I am going to draw everybody cards for free on my next turn. You don't even have to do anything. All you got to do is draw two if you want to. So I'll pass. All right. Untap. Draw a card. I'll play a Soul Ring. So I'll attack you for three there, Ken. Okay, yep. I'll be boop, Elm boop. Monarch. And then second main phase, I will Mountain Cycle Ruin Grinder. Yeah, I'm going to go get a Smoldering Marsh. I was supposed to get a card at the top, but yeah, I will attack. Attempt Mr. Actos and I'll trigger Vile Smasher. I've got a monologue tax trigger to make a treasure. One, two is Ken. Three, four is Tori. Five, six is Tomer. Oh, whammies. Five, six. And I'll pass the turn. Two. I'll draw a card. Draw. Then I'll pass my turn. Draw. Play the sliver off the top of my library. Orion <laughs> Mahler. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this also triggers Bloodline Pretender. Oh, I didn't even choose a creature type. It would have been slivers. All right, Ken. I'm going to hit you for three. The Bloodline Pretender and Carlos, two of the Realm Walker, please. I'm going to bl not block. <laughs> there Yay. you go. Oh. End step. I will draw a card. And then I will pass. Trigger Marchesa. Uh, I'll make an assassin, and then I'm going to draw a card. I'll play a storm kiln artist, and then I'm going to crack two treasures, and I'm going to cast a temporary truce, which will trigger what storm kiln that? artist. So basically, you can draw two cards, gain four life, or draw a card and gain two life, or gain four life. So I'll do the draw two, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to draw two as well. Yeah, I should draw two. We're going to draw. I'll move to combat, and I'm going to trigger loyal apprentice. I'll make another thopter, and I'm just going to swing one little thopter just to get the monarch. I'm at 31. I'm going to move to my end step, draw a card, and I'll pass. And tap. I'll draw a card. If you want to swing at me just to get the monarchy with the Bomat Courier, you can. I won't block. Yeah, I'll swing at you with Bomat then. And sick. Tori, I'll swing Rakdos at you for six. <laughs> okay, so I've dealt seven damage this turn. My Rakdos brings all the boys to the yard. I'm going to cast Duplicant for zero. And I'm going to exile the Stormkiln Artist. I'm going to cast Blacksmith's Skill targeting Stormkiln, which will trigger Stormkiln. Hexproof? Make me a treasure. Yep, just want to give it Hexproof, that's all. So he doesn't die then? No, Duplicant's just hanging out. No, but yours doesn't. Yep. And mine's a 2-4 instead. All right, so I will play now a Steel Hellkite for free. That sounds good. Nice. Trick monologue tax, I'll make a treasure. Oh, you got a Bile Smasher trigger on the 6-drop, yeah? Oh, you're right, Duplicant. Yep. All right, same numbers. Oh, wow, five again. Oh, jeez. Six damage there. Uh, I'll pay three and tap the Bonders Enclave to draw a card. I will then play my land for turn. Then I will go to my end step and draw for the Monarch. And then I'll pass. I know Vile Smasher gets pretty scary. That Steel Hellkite's also going to blow up, probably. <laughs> just his yeah, just his artifacts. That's all. I don't have enough to get rid of him. What is attached to him? 2-4 creature, duplicate, and a Steel Hellkite. He's considered an artifact, right? Not creature? He's both. Both. They're not artifact attached, has... but yep. yeah. If you have anything that's like destroy target artifact, it can hit. Oh, 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 oh. Like a rat okay. goes to charm. <laughs> if yeah. you have a Vandal apart. Blast, that'd be sick. We'll rip apart the Steel Hellkite. That's that's it. That's my big move. I'm like, I like screwed. It. I like it. I'm going to untap and draw a card. I'm going to take a peek. Okay, well, I'm going to cast Ovalar, Dire Ovalar. Nice. Okay. It says, whenever a wolf or werewolf you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. I don't have to swing the Mauler 
at you, Carlos, right? I was like, maybe like a, a little nibble nibble with the pretender or something. Yeah, I've not intentionally, but unintentionally done you some damage with Vile Smasher, so I'll take two. <laughs> Only or 12. Whatever. Yeah. I'll send the Realm Walker. I'm going to draw a card off Tovalar, and I'm going to become the monarchy. I'm going to play a uh, Wanderwine Hub, revealing a Merfolk. And I'm going to use that mana. Tap blue. My boy is back. <laughs> Trigger. My Trigger. beautiful boy. <laughs> I'll, block tax. I'll make a treasure. I will end turn, draw a card from Monarchy. So I'm going to discard Hakan, Stromgald, Scourge, Ancient Amphitheater, Zagoth, Triumph, and then that's it. Okay, so in my upkeep, I'll make a Assassin token because I'm not the Mark, and then I'll draw. I'll cast a Soul Ring, then I'll tap it and cast a Sensei's Divining Top with one colorless floating. I'm going to spin the top to try to find a land. I'm gonna act, crack the top to draw a card. Put it right on top, and then I'm gonna play the Rugged Prairie as my land for turn. I cast a Gideon of the Trials. It's a plus one to prevent damage from a permanent until my next turn. Zero to turn it into a 4-4 indestructible, prevent all damage that would be dealt to him until end of turn. And then zero, you get an emblem with as long as you control Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. And I'm gonna zero him to get the emblem. Trigger Loyal Apprentice, make a Thopter. Tomer, you're the monarch again? I am. I'm just going to poke you for one again in the air with one of the thopters. Very kind of you, Ken. Thank you. And then I'll become the monarch. I'll move to my end step. I'll draw this Sensei's Divining Top. And Gideon's got three loyalty on him. And that's it. End of turn. I will Chaos Warp your mage, dude. Sure. I like gambling. Let's see what I Sorry. My desire was to do that before you draw from Monarch so that it gets rid of your top. little toppy top. Yeah. All right. So I'll shuffle this bad boy in and see what I get. Come on, Platinum Angel. Come on, Inferno Titan. It's probably going to be like a swamp or an instant. Here we go. <laughs> it's an Inferno Titan. No way. <laughs> oh, no. I do actually trigger Vile Smasher as well. That is another five. How much am I getting? Three, three, three damage. Yeah. Vile Smasher is getting all three. Okay. Draw for turn. I will trash for treasure, sacking the nope. duplicate, and I'm going to get back Steel Hellkite. Cast Persist on duplicate. And trigger du Mott. Make a treasure. And I'll target the Inferno <laughs> Titan with duplicate. It gets exiled. I will send six of Rakdos at your Gideon. I'll Swords Rakdos. Yeah, I'll pass turn. Ten. Girl. Passing my turn. How big is the Doom Scourge? Or three. If you want to get the monarchy to draw, you can. I won't block. Yeah. Wow. Sweet. I'll swing at you for thanks. I will untap. I'll draw a card. I'll take a peek. Tovalar, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more werewolves and or wolves, I do. I get to flip them. All right, Tori. I'm going to swing at you with the Tovalar and the Bloodline Pretender. I'm going to draw two cards off my two werewolves. So I'm going to cast Tiamat. So if Tiamat enters the battlefield, you can search your library for up to five dragon cards not named Tiamat. Pretty it's cool a combos. mirror entity that's dragon number one. More fun. What other? Herb swap. Huh? Okay, Corsair. Universal Automaton. We are going to cast the Universal Automaton for free. Trigger monologue tax, I'll make a treasure. I'm going to go to my end step, draw a card, take a peek, and then I'm going to discard down to hand size. I'm going to untap, upkeep, I'm going to make this ass draw a card. I am going to plus the Gideon, and I'm going to prevent damage that... He can make that Mahler trample with his Tovalar. Well, I'm going to prevent all damage that Torian Mahler will do until right. my next turn. Right. You have one flying blocker, is that right, Tomer? Yes. Okay, I'm going to move to combat. Trigger Loyal Apprentice, make a Thopter, and I'm going to swing one of the Thopters at you. Oh, no, two. Two of them, I'm sorry, so that one gets through. I'll block one. So I've got two here. I'm the Monarch. Past Platinum Empyrean. <laughs> oh, and then I uh, will draw a card from being a, the Monarch. Alrighty. I will untap draw a card is Kalia gonna come over my way Tori no or yeah, or right. or the thing that she brings in to play no you can block my things anybody want to let me get a damage through so I can cast my commander I'll let you Ooh, kill me I'll attack you for one then Tori I will take that one I will second main phase, pay six, plus an opal palace so that he becomes a seven. And he'll get two counters, actually, because he's been cast twice. So he'll be an eight, eight Rakdos. And I've done one damage this turn. So with Rakdos out, I will cast Ginger Brute past the turn. Draw. I play a swamp. What we're going to do is we're going to go to attack over at 
pan over there, I guess. Oh. Shankalia, if for two. Casting okay. Sarah's emissary. Declaring creatures. His life can't change. Oh, it can't. Yeah. All right, budget. We're coming at you. I'm sorry. So you have protection from... Creatures. Okay. So I can't block. We will pass the turn. I'm going to play a reflecting pool. I'm going to activate a Meboid Changeling. Target the Steel Hellkite, and I'm going to make it every creature type. I will follow up with ear pressure and oh. six. it says choose a creature type i'm going to choose the what empyrean is i think it's a golem if you control more creatures of that type than any other player you can control of all creatures of that type i'm gonna turn it into a basic land i'm gonna path it okay while this is happening i'm gonna cast tithe targeting you i'm just gonna grab the steel hell kite you also get my ginger brute because it's a golem heck yeah and then i'm going to cast war gate for x equals zero and I'm going to find the world tree into the battlefield. So I'm putting a plateau and an isolated chap on the hand and the planes in the play tapped. I forgot a monologue tax trigger when you cast your second spell and make a trigger. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna untap, draw a card. Draw. Okay, I'll play an isolated chapels, my land for turn. I've got a planes, so it enters untapped. I'll play a wheel misfortune. Two, one, reveal. Zero, zero. zero. Okay, and I bid three. So I'll lose win. and wheel cast a conqueror's flail i'm gonna to move to combat i'll make a thopter and i'm going to plus up gideon i'll prevent the rakdos from dealing damage and then i'll pass i'll draw for turn oh yeah i need to draw off because i'm the monarch forgot about that i'm going to send this duplicate at you tomer as a six six i'm gonna block off the universal automaton i'm gonna play Doretti. yeah i guess i'll discard two cards and draw two cards play a canyon slow as my land for turn and play a goblin welder trigger monologue tax i'll make a treasure i'll pass i draw make a Curse mirror token of Sarah's emissary, and I have protection from. I have a response to it entering the battlefield. I'm gonna cast okay. crib swap, targeting the Sarah emissary. Before the thing can copy the thingy, I'm gonna blow it up. So my duplicate can exile a creature. Yeah, we'll do that. Like we'll that exile really... Tovalar. No, that really big Tovalar. creature. Okay, we'll get rid of the really big creature. Yes. Sure. Yeah, I'll we'll get rid of that. Boy. Oh. Yep, <laughs> I'm going to go to combat and swing at you with two for Kalia yeah. and you five. You also get a changeling token, by the way, a 1-1. One, one. So you're going to take seven in the air. Overseer of the Damned, when it enters the battlefield, I can destroy a target creature. I'll destroy Marquesa. Oh, not the flyer that can block? Uh, but yeah, we'll do that. This is not looking as good as it well, was earlier. <laughs> real quick, everybody, I apologize. This is partly maybe my fault, but you have my Steel Hellkite and Ginger Brutes. You know, maybe you want to oh, shoot. indicate that. Uh, in some, I would like to way. block you okay, yes. You might have to give her a chance to not attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you still want to attack me if I had a steel Hellkite? No, because it's going to kill Kalia. Ken doesn't have any death touch flyers. You can attack me. I have one 8-8 flyer, but it can't do damage right now. That's probably your best bet is to attack me. Yeah, and we'll kill, just do that then. Kill one so of the creatures. I still get the trigger from yeah. here. What? Are you just, still blowing up Tiamat? Yeah, we're going to blow up Tiamat for sure. Okay. I'll block the five, um, but your guy will live, and I'll take two. Budget, I'm gonna lightning helix your face for three, and <laughs> game three. Yeah, that trigger monologue tax, I'll make a treasure. Then I'll pass my turn. I'm gonna untap, draw card. Pass Hakon from my graveyard. I'm gonna tag it in with Thiel, Hellkite, and yeah, and Tovalar. I'm gonna cast Rakdos Charm, choosing the mode each creature deals one damage to its controller, and I'm gonna hold priority into Fairy's protection. I'll take seven, I'll go down to one. I, I take don't exist. four. I'll play a um, Universal Automaton from my graveyard for free because it's a knight. I'll play a Primal Beyond for my lands. It enters tapped. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play an Urborg as my land for turn. I'm going to attach the Conqueror's Flail to Marchesa. I have a response to when you're attaching it. And I'm going to cast Crib Swap from my graveyard because it's a knight. Oh. And I'm going to exile Queen Marchesa. No problem. I'll zone Marchesa. You get a changeling, a 1 1 changeling. I will say, if you do take me out, I will use my remaining resources as leverage. Sounds like blackmail to me. <laughs> it definitely is, Ken, but it's the only line I got. I'm at one and you have a bunch of flying attackers. I'm trying to live. I'm going to cast a Sensei's Divining Top. And if that's okay, I'm going to activate Top. Spin it. Okay. I'm going to use Crib Swap, one of your Thopters. Uh, yep. Turn it into a, one of these. 
these? Yep. <laughs> treasure. I'm going to declare two thopters flying over at you. I'm going to crack the ginger brute and I'm going to gain three life. Does combat happen or no, you got more things? No tricks. No tricks. So I go down to two. I'm going to cast a no mercy. I'll just cast a humble defector. I'm going to plus Gideon. I'm going to target the rack dose then i'll move to the end step draw a card i'll uh, draw for a card for turn so we don't want a board wipe let me live with my board i will attack everything i can that is my that is my promise i'm gonna go out swinging if you're gonna give tomer the little five crib swaps a turn dance. no no crib swaps come my way then right on your turn uh well, tomer i won't crib swap you mm. for turn cycle so then i will plus two duretti sacrificing this duplicant mm -hmm. and get memory jar into play i will then Rack memory jar. So everybody put your current hand aside, draw seven cards, and then these seven will be discarded at the end of turn. I will play <laughs> a Great Furnace as my land for turn. I'll cast Jessica's Will. Yeah, I'll get seven from one of you fine people. I will use, I guess, two of it for a Racto Signet. Monologue tax, I'll make a treasure. I'll get a uh, Wayfarer's Bobble with one of it, and I will pay three plus the four for a Meteor Golem. Oh, excuse me, I didn't just as well. The rest of it. Yeah, you need to blow up the quick. Gideon. I'll still do the Racto Signet just in case, but I'll bring back the Wayfarer's Bubble. So that still triggered the monologue. Exiling Sandstone Oracle and two lands. And I'll Meteor Golem now. And I'll shoot the No Mercy. I'm going to Boros Charm and make all my permanents indestructible. Mm -hmm. There yeah, goes the I'll Wayfarer's Bubble. I'll discard these two lands. So I'll pass the turn. All right, what do you want me to do here? All right, let me attack Ken. Let me go out swinging. The Gideon must be gone for Ken to even That's die. true. He doesn't have any flyers right now, too. A fireball, seven damage or six damage at that thing. I'm gonna respond just by activating top to see what's on the top three cards. Gideon gets caught. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. We will then swing at you for an 11 with Ray at Dawnbringer as well. So I'll take 11, I'll go to six. No mercy will trigger, destroy those creatures. End. <laughs> End. <laughs> on top. Draw my card. I'm going to cast Morophon, the knight from my graveyard. I'm going to choose Dragon, Elkai Courser. When it enters the battlefield, you may put a commander you own from the command zone onto the battlefield. It gains haste, returns to the command zone at the beginning of the next end step. No response. I need to make a treasure off monologue tax. Rack a uh, top to draw a card. First, I need to pay into top and then shuffle. Oh, look at the three here. Okay, we'll put them like that. And then I'm gonna draw a card with top. I'm gonna chaos warp the Ur dragon. And I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> can I put this in and still get a thingy off it or no? You can. And I'm going to reveal the Haven on the Spirit Dragon, my favorite. Four. I'm going to use Wings of Velis Vell and I'm going to make the Universal Automaton a 4-4. Four, four. And I'm going to swing the Steel Hellkite and the Universal Automaton at you, Ken. No blocks. I do a big die. GG. Uh, I get to draw a card off Tobolar. Oh, okay. I can cast this for free. All right, I, I'm done. I have Duplicate and Meteor Golem. So nice. I'm going to Goblin Welder and switch them. Do you have any flyers okay, that can block? Okay, the five buying. Yeah, I'll exile that yeah. guy. So I'll get a basic land. This is the end of turn. Tori, you're the monarch. Draw a card. Oh, um, yay. I'll draw for turn. So now you don't have any flyers, but you can exile things, right? But I uh, agreed not to exile anything this turn. All right, well, then I will send Rakdos at you. And the duplicant got rid of a 6-5, is that right? Yes. I'll send that at Tori. Cast Wings of Velis Fail from my graveyard again for free because it's a knight and a dragon and it will block the Rakdos. But his trample, does you it do one. any damage to you? Does one damage to you? I'll take one. I'll cast the Dark Steel Colossus. Use Goblin Welder to sacrifice duplicant to get back Meteor Golem to kill Morophon. Okay. So I'm going to cast Orcus Prince of Undeath. So X is five. If there's no response to the cast, then he'll enter the battlefield. Each other creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, I lose X life. So every other mm -hmm. creature will get minus five minus five, and I will lose five life. Um, I'm going to respond to that trigger okay. by sadly crypt swapping my own Hakan. Why would you do that? It would be put into grave where you lose two life. Oh. <laughs> um, with that on the stack, though, I am going to crack Bomat Courier. I'll discard these two cards, a Wheel of Misfortune and a Scarecrone, and I'll get these cards into hand. Your uh, creature there will get minus five, minus five, Tori. I'll lose five life. I'll play a Bloodstained Mire as land for turn. I will cast Mycosynth Golem for free and Solemn Simulacrum. I'll plus, or minus two, Duretti. 
Sacking a Salt and Simulacrum. I'll get back Ruin Grinder. Pass the turn. Pass an Urbrask. And that's it. You can kill me. Oh, you're still alive? I thought you just yeah. died. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll play a Crackling Doom and deal two damage to each opponent. <laughs> and everyone sacrifices the greatest power <laughs> among creatures that control. Wow, that's actually amazing because that kills Darksteel Classes. I guess I'll tap two and play a Talisman of Hyrule and pass. All right, Bloodstain my real fast. Draw a card at the Bonders Enclave end of turn. I'll untap. I'll draw a card for turn. I'm going to play <laughs> Florian, Voldaren Scion, and the Loyal Apprentice. I will attack. I get a 1-1 one, one as well. How much is that? 27. Dead. <laughs> thought you maybe had your own comeuppance or something. E so. No. <laughs> During the second game, we were a little more prepared, a little wiser for Ken's politicking but it almost wasn't enough. He had such a great board state. After he was gone, all of us had to scramble a little bit, but I was able to close it out with my big golems. These were some super fun games, and I wanna thank Tori, Ken, and Tomer for playing with me. I really hope you go check out their channels and their socials. They have amazing content, and I think you'll enjoy it. Since you've made it this far in the video, you should consider becoming part of the kingdom by joining us on Patreon. It's $2 a month, and that gives you access to our private Discord, giveaways, game nights, and a bunch more. I really think you'll enjoy it, and we'd love to see you there. Either way, thanks so much for watching, and keep it nerdy.